are you looking for a fast and reliable ways to restore your WordPress website? Then this video is for you. In this video, I will compare some of the best backup plugins in WordPress and I will tell you which one is better for you. So let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Yashwek Wadi and welcome to Keto Blogging. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. So if you are using WordPress, then you have to use multiple plugins and sometimes plugin causes issues on your WordPress website. And the easiest way to fix that issues is to restore a recent backup. Or if you have a malware attack on your website or if your site is broken, then you can easily fix that by restoring the backup file so that you don't have to hire a developer to fix that issues. So for this, I strongly recommend you to take daily backups on your WordPress website. So how you can do that? So most popular hosting companies provide daily backups but you also need to backup using a plugin as well so the fast backup plugin in our list is all in one wp migration so this is a free backup plugin and here you need to download the backup manually and upload the backup file manually so if you want to do automatic backup then you can also consider the paid plan of all in one wp migration so let me just show you how it works so for this what i can do is i will go to wordpress dashboard I will click on here and I will go to the plugins and I will click on add new plugin. Let me search for all in one WP migration and let's click on install. Let's activate it. All right. Now let's go to the dashboard. Click on all in one WP migration and here you will find an option to export the file. So let's click on export, click on file and it will prepare a backup file of your website so that you can download that file to your computer and when necessary you can upload that backup file to your WordPress website and restore your website. But the one problem with this method is that you don't have the recent backups and you have to manually take backups every time. So as you can see that our backup file is ready and I can simply just download the backup file to my computer and after that whenever I need that I can go to the import option here and I will click on import form file click on file and I can choose that backup file so this is a simple way to backup and restore your website but this method works if you want to migrate your website to another host or something but if you want to take regular backups, then you have to go for the premium plan. Now let's check how we can take backup using the updraft plus. So updraft plus is a fast and reliable backup plugin in WordPress. But there is one problem with this plugin is that it sometimes um, restore your website partially and it's um, failed to restore the site completely. So if you want to use a free plugin, then you can also consider updraft plus. So let me just show you. So let's go to the plugins. I will click on add new plugin here. I will simply search for updraft plus. And here is the plugin. Let's install and activate it. All right. The updraft plus is installed. Let's go to the dashboard first and let's go to the settings and you will find the updraft plus backup now here you will see an option like this so just click on backup and click on backup now so it will automatically take a backup and store in your server and if you want to store the backup in an external storage then you can also use google drive as well and as you can see that the backup is taken and you can just go to the settings switch the backup to daily backups and here you can choose the google drive option and you can verify your google drive and hit save changes and after that let's click on sign in with google and let's select the google account click on continue let's allow it and let's click on complete setup all right, our updraft plugin is successfully connected to Google Drive. Now it will take daily backup and store it in your Google Drive account. And whenever you need that, you can just simply restore it by 
clicking on the restore button here so you can run scan for local folder or run scan for remove storage and it will show up all the backup files and you can easily restore it but there is one problem i face with updraft plus is that sometimes it's restore partially and it is it failed to restore the site completely that's why i can use a different backup plugin as well so we can use a plugin called blog vault backup plugin so for this you need to create an account in blog vault so i can click on sign up here and i can click on connect with google now all you have to do is click on add site here let's go to the website and let me copy the website url here and i will paste it here and let's click on continue now here you need to install the plugin so i will click on manual installation so i will click on download here so it will download the plugin to our computer now let's go to the website let's go to the plugin and i will click on add new plugin here now let's upload that plugin so i will choose the blog vault plugin here and i will click on install or you can search for the blog vault plugin in the wordpress repository as well so let's click on activate now as you can see that our website is automatically redirect to blog vault as well and it is analyzing our website so let's wait or you can click on back to dashboard as well so as you can see that our website is added to the blog vault and it will take some time to analyze our website and it will show you the details so let's click on the website here and here as you can see that it is still analyzing our website and it will show the number of plugins and themes used on your website and as you can see that it is saying the total file synced all right as you can see that the sync is completed now and here you can see that it has taken a backup as well so let's click on details here and let's click on show all backup and as you can see that the backup is taken at april 7 8 47 am and you can see the file sync table sync and total size of your backup so you can just test restore or click on the restore button so that it will restore the backup on your website so let's test that so for this what i can do is i will go to the website dashboard here and let me go to the plugins and let's deactivate some of the plugins from here now let's go to the themes and let me change the theme here all right let's go to the website and as you can see that our website is broken now so let's try restore our website using the backup taken by blog vault so what i can do is i will simply click on restore and here it will run a pre restore checks on on your website whether the backup plugin is installed on your website or not and as you can see that it is now completed let's click on continue now it will restore our website from the blog vault dashboard so the one benefit of blog vault is that it stored the backup in an external server so that in case your server is crashes or something happened on your server then you can easily restore all of your files from blog vault dashboard all right as you can see that our restore is completed now let's go to the website and let me refresh this page and as you can see that our website is restored so this is how simple it is to restore your wordpress website so either you can use the blog vault plugin or you can use a free plugin like all-in-one wp migration or you can use a plugin like updraft plus so if you are just running a blog website then you can consider updraft plus plugin and if your data is most important like if you are running an woocommerce website then you can consider the blog vault so blog vault is a better option if your data is important and if you are running an e-commerce website then you can also enable real time backup on your website so that if anything changes on your website like a new order comes or you have installed a new plugin or you have deleted a new plugin then it will automatically take the that update and restore or create a backup real time so it is very important to take real time backups and take daily backups on your wordpress website so it's up to you which plugin you want to use either you can use all in one wp migration updraft plus or backup vault so let me know which plugin is suitable for you and let me know if you have any doubt regarding restoring a wordpress website 
and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye